Hi guys, Serial Simmer here. I am doing a reno video today. Um, we are going to go ahead and do sort of the counterpart to Agave Abode, but in Willow Creek, I think, which is Crick Cabana. Um, for the longest time, I thought this was called Creek Cabana, but if you realize it's actually C-R-I-C-K, maybe you already realized that, maybe not. I totally have been calling it Creek Cabana this entire time, but it's actually Crick. Don't know if you guys have ever really noticed that small difference, but sometimes when you're doing these speed builds, you notice kind of like weird little things like that that you hadn't before, even though you've been playing The Sims for, let's see, how many years has this been now? I don't even, I've played all the way since Sims 1, so for absolute ever, and then Sims 4 has been out for, I think, like nine years now, nine or ten, is that right? What is it? Yeah, it would have been nine years now, not 2014. So we are just going ahead and getting rid of all the pieces of the building that I don't like right now. And then we're going to go ahead and add back in like a new ceiling piece, make the flooring all the same. And the other thing that this helps me do is kind of see what my actual budget is going to be for the redo. I did decide to get rid of that um, sort of like rounded hexagonal space at the front there um, that small detail and I was working off of working off of a reference picture for this um for this reno unlike agave abode where I was just fully winging it um and I can't find the reference picture anywhere I thought I had saved it to my Pinterest but apparently not um so yeah, I unfortunately don't have that to show you guys, but it did make this renovation go a lot more smoothly um, because I had a reference picture to work off of. I say smoothly and then we start working on the, the roofing of this renovation, which was an absolute nightmare for me. Um, I had a really specific way I wanted it to look um, and I just couldn't get it to do exactly what was in the picture, um, you know typical Sims 4 stuff. So I just kept working and working on it and I did end up cutting like so, 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 so much of it out. But again, I left enough that you can tell that I'm struggling um, to sort of figure out how I want to put this roof together. In the end, it ends up being um, close to the way that I wanted it, but not exactly how I wanted it, I guess. Um, I did really want to add these two dormers, which was also sort of a thing to get those put on. But um, yeah, you can see here, we're just trying a million different ways to make this work. I am not like a super seasoned um, Sims builder. So um, if you're watching this and you also watch a lot of like really great builders on YouTube, then you're probably like, what is she doing? But this is just my process of figuring it out. So you might have to bear with me a little bit. Um, but hopefully you understand why I left this in. Um, so yeah, we kind of figure out here what we're going to end up doing um, in the end, but it's just a lot of fiddling after this point with exactly how high we want it to be, how curved we want it to be, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, now we're just adding those dormers in and trying to get them to place just right. It's that same issue where when you're looking like an actual at like an actual house in real life versus in The Sims, you really wanna be able to put things on like a half tile. And that's what I would have done with these dormers if I had had the opportunity. And there I was kind of messing around because after staring at this build for a long enough time, the dormers started to look like eyes and the porch started to look like a mouth. <laughs> so I added um, a little bit of the scalloping on the top there just as like teeth or something. It's just messing around. So yeah, if you are watching this video, I would love to know what um, base game builds you would love to see renovated or that like you start playing, playing in typically. Um, yeah, so that I could maybe go and renovate those. I would love some like ideas for what you guys think would be good builds or like maybe a style even that'd be so fun if somebody was like oh do this house in a southern american style or do this house in like more of a xyz there's so many styles <laughs> queen anne i don't know um yeah that'd be really fun for some suggestions if you are watching this video go ahead and comment that down below i would really appreciate it um 
And yeah, now we're just kind of figuring out. Initially, I was going with like this sort of dark brown and white theme and ended up really liking the contrast of the black and white, which is like, I don't know, maybe really typical for me. I tend to really like black and white um, mixed with some wood tones, but I just absolutely love a good old contrasty black and white. Here, we're actually doing like a cut in instead of a cut out um, to sort of make like a side yard porch area. Since this lot is so small, I needed a bit more, um, a bit more room here on the side for some stairs to go. Um, so we ended up, yeah, doing this sort of cut in, which I really ended up loving in the end. Um, I would love to start um, a Let's Play in these in these starter homes um i was thinking actually i am doing on my channel another sort of like let's play gameplay thing where i complete all the aspirations um in the game and i was thinking it'd be really fun when i start my next one to pick one of these base game houses um as sort of the starter house for that sim here we are just again fixing more more pieces of this roof it was kind of a never-ending process um but yeah, for the most part, I think now that we have the tiles picked out and everything, we're pretty much done with the roof. I do like the way that it ended up. Um, you guys will have to let me know what you think if you would have done something differently um, or if you have some tips or tricks for me, for sure. Let me know. <laughs> let me know in the comments below because I'm, like I said, not a crazy seasoned builder and could use some tips and tricks. Here we are just doing some landscaping. I ended up cutting out a ton of terrain painting, um, cutting out as well. Um, I did some terrain editing there on the front where I kind of just made the flower beds be like little hills kind of. So they're kind of covering up a little bit more of the foundation in the front. And I really liked the way that that looked. I hardly ever do any terrain editing, but I've been like getting more, getting more into that. I really like the like detail that it adds to um, a Sims build makes it feel just like that little bit more realistic. So here we are doing a uh, sort of the hallway of the house and trying to figure out how big do I want this one bathroom to be? It's going to serve the whole house and we're going to have a kid and maybe two parents here, one or two parents. Then we have, you know, a fairly large group of Sims that we want to be using this one bathroom. So I decided to make it a little bit bigger. Um, and now we're doing a kitchen. I don't know if you noticed in my last one, I do typically tend to start with kitchens. Do you guys do that as well? I don't know if that's like different or if that's like pretty standard or normal. Um, for some reason, I'm definitely one of those people that is like the kitchen is the heart of the home. I have to start with the kitchen. I've got to figure out the kitchen layout and then I can sort of build out from there. Um, and I always in these builds, especially in the base game ones where we have like a huge or not a huge, but a really tight budget, definitely not a huge budget. Um, I tend to spend a lot of the money initially on this part of the build in the kitchen, and then I edit things back. So like by the end of this video, um, those island counters are going to go away. I do end up putting some bar stools there, but then at the end deciding like, let's save that money. We don't need bar stools and we don't need two more counters. That saves a significant amount of money getting rid of just those like four items. So yeah, we ended up saving some money there by getting rid of those. There is a fireplace. I believe there's an outdoor bin and there definitely is an indoor bin in this um, home. So I think you have all of the like really important necessities. Um, yeah. And then we ended up going with kind of a blue theme. I'm going to say like a blue and neutral theme for the interior of this house. Um, so that's what we're doing right now is sort of picking out the... I want to say the base furniture, but <laughs> that's not exactly what I mean. Um, the essential pieces of furniture, I guess, that we'll pull colors from for the rest of the build. And so, yeah, this kind of dark gray ends up being repeated throughout the house. And the blue definitely is a repeated thing throughout the house. For the bedrooms, I did decide to go... Um, with a carpet, which I don't typically do. I feel like in real life, I would love if my house had literally zero carpet in it. I'm not a carpet fan. I know carpet is kind of one of those things where like some people love it, some people absolutely hate it, but I am a total carpet hater. I <laughs> just think it's gross. Um, I would rather um, have a rug that I can clean. Um, yeah, I guess you could have a carpet cleaner and do that, but I feel like no one actually does. Even if they own a carpet cleaner, I feel like they don't really clean their carpets that much. Um, and it's just so easy to wipe stuff off with a wood floor. You can just quickly like really clean it. 
really, really well. <laughs> and then there's like nothing in the carpet pad, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, I'll stop talking about how much I hate carpet. <laughs> and we can kind of get back to this build. This is our main bathroom here. I was really happy with the way that this ended up. I have built this house for a child sim and their parents. So there isn't any infant stuff or toddler stuff included in this house. That would be an extra cost, but this house doesn't end up costing the max budget, especially if you end up having three Sims moving into this house, you'll have that extra bit of money and you'll definitely be able to afford any toddler or infant necessities that you might need um, for this starter home. Yeah, so here I am picking out colors for the bedrooms. I do pink in the kids' room. I set it up for um, a little feminine sim, a little feminine girl probably is the picture in my head. And um, I ended up realizing we really needed that crown and baseboard trim to kind of bring the walls down and make it a little bit cozier in this house. I did try to stick to the base game height, which was the medium wall height. I am like blown away. <laughs> like I don't know how people do builds like residential builds, especially with tall wall height. I just, I feel like there should be like medium should be the highest. Um, and maybe we should have one between medium and short wall height or something. But like, I never use the tall wall height. You guys ever use tall wall height? Please comment if you use tall wall height and tell me what builds you use that on. I could see maybe in a commercial build using tall wall height, but even then it's just like, unless it's like a museum, I guess, I suppose in like a museum you could. Anyways, back to the build here. We're going ahead and figuring out what we want the primary suite to have in it. I really, really wanted to include a computer. So we did end up putting like the cheaper uh, $800 computer in here. I can't, I love the one that comes from high school year. It's the little like tablet with the keyboard um, underneath it. That's only like $950. But since this is base game, we couldn't use that. Um, so that was kind of a bummer. I love using that one. Um... Yeah, figuring out some window coverings here too. This is something in base game builds, especially that I struggle to include. It feels like a little bit of a luxury in these base game builds with these tight, um, tight budgets. So yeah, I felt kind of luxurious going and adding curtains in like the kids room and in the uh, bathroom there, but the bathroom at least definitely needed it. Here I am deciding like, no, I don't think I'm going to do a toddler. I'm almost like a little bit worn out with all the infant and toddler and kid stuff. And I just wanted to do like a normal child sim bedroom. <laughs> I say like normal. I just wanted to do something different, I guess. Like I just have seen so much infant and toddler stuff lately that I just wanted to do something minimally different and go ahead and go for a kid's room. <laughs> like the, I guess like the good old days or something. I don't even know. <laughs> I just wanted something a little bit different. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do this for a, I imagine a little girl living in this room that really enjoys science. And I think we end up placing the microscope, not microscope, sorry, the telescope um, item. I'm pretty sure we end up placing that in the backyard, but I honestly could be wrong and could be thinking of that easel that we just placed. Um, such a good way to make money such a good way to make money. That's what I'm using um, as my money maker, as my job in my 100 baby challenge, which I would recommend checking out. It's one of my favorite challenges of all time. And with infants, it is so much exceptionally <laughs> harder. Um, it's so much more difficult to play that challenge now, uh, which also makes it fresh and fun. Um, I cannot get enough of it. I can't get enough of watching other people's baby challenges and I cannot get enough of playing my own baby challenge. The next one should be out tomorrow. If you're watching this the day it comes out, it should be out on, let's see, I think the 14th. Today is April 13th. So it'll be out on April 14th. Um, so yeah, that'll be episode two of that challenge. We are going ahead and placing some more colors in this girl's room. I wanted it to be very feminine, but I also didn't want it to be like ultra one color, I guess. Um, so there's definitely a lot of pink, purple, um, and sort of that like magenta color. Here we are doing our cheats for the debug. Um, and I go ahead and put the base game only thing on. So you should be able to download this, uh, only having base game. It shouldn't come up with any other packs or anything like that, but we do use a lot of debug, um, plants. 
I'm trying to think if we use any plants that aren't debug. Actually, <laughs> I don't think we do. I think we use pretty much only debug plants because that's like one of my best found ways to save money. Um, it's such a lush area, this area of Willow Creek. And I felt like, especially kind of at this end lot that backs up to the canal that it should be almost especially lush. I don't know, maybe because it's right next to so many trees. I just felt like the end of this little cul-de-sac, this little neighborhood area just lended itself really well to this being a really lush lot. So maybe this could be a great lot for gardening on. I don't know. So here we are placing more trees. I do end up deleting one of these trees on the side and, and here we are finding the perfect brick columns. Again, I wish I had that picture to show you because the picture that I was looking at had these really similar brick columns in the front and it wasn't a fence all the way around. It really was just like two brick columns sort of accentuating the front of the, of the building of the home. Um, and I really, really liked the way that that looked. So I was so happy to find those columns in the debug menu. Man, going back to this backyard, every time I'm looking at this like little, I say backyard because I guess that's just like what you would most typically call this area. It's definitely a side yard though. I just love this area so much. It's so lush. Um, and that little uh, outdoor fireplace situation that we have going on out there it looks so cozy. I just want to sit outside with that like all the time. We end up doing these lavender boxes um, also from debug menu um, on like sort of the main windows that you'll see like behind the canal and then also on uh, the two sort of matching windows on the opposite side of the house which is the front of the house. I think they end up looking really pretty. I like that it's a different color. It's not blue um, or those like typically white or yellow flowers that I've used throughout the, all the throughout the rest of the build. So it kind of offers that like little pop of color almost, <laughs> even though everything else is very, very neutral. And here we go with another tree. I do rotate it so that it's sort of hanging out more over the canal and not so much hanging out into the already very small yard. Oh, I love these hanging plants. They're kind of a pain to place, but they are so, so stinking pretty. And I do end up going for some that have almost like wisteria looking vibes to them. I don't know what kind of plant that is um, or what that plant might be based off of, I guess. But I really think that is so beautiful. It's like a fern on top and then it has almost like hangy purple flowers coming out from underneath it. It also just felt like really Southern to me. I feel like when I see pictures of Southern homes, I haven't actually been to the South um, of America, but I would love to. And I, whenever I see pictures of the homes, it's like, you know, a bench and they're like drinking tea, like iced tea or something. And they have like, you know, a fan outside. They've got those plants hanging from the top and lots of like lush greenery and lots of mature um, plants. It feels very Southern to me. And I guess Willow Creek to me feels like that kind of world. It feels like a very sort of Southern American styled world. So yeah, this is pretty much the end of the build here, guys. Thank you so much for watching it. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate you. Um, be sure to give the video a like if you have made it this far. I would really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, here we are just kind of going around the exterior of the home and getting a feel for what that looks like. I absolutely love this home and I'm so glad that I was able to use so much debug um, plants because I feel like that just really made this home look like it's in a mature neighborhood that's been there for a really long time. Yeah, so our kitchen ended up having that little pop of color with backsplash. Um, and then our living room is pretty basic, but it does have that sweet fireplace to help with the cozy vibes. And here is the primary bedroom. We didn't end up doing window treatments in here, but that's definitely something you could add in the end. And our amazing side yard here. And I added a couple of garden planters for another activity that you could do. And this fireplace should be functional. It worked for me when I placed it. Let me know if you guys have any issues with that I don't believe it should be one for you and yeah this is my run of Crick Cabana guys um, if you want to go ahead and download this 
renovation of Crick Cabana. My EAID is Serial Simmer, just the same thing as my YouTube. And if you've made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And um, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and like this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.